Okay. I know what you're thinking. Disappear for like, what is it, seven months? And then upload a bunch of videos all at once? Yeah, that's I. That's that's how it works. Um, today, I'm going to be making peanut butter cookies following this recipe. Um, I've got all my stuff here. I've got... I'll find the measuring stuff later and then edit out me looking for it. Um, okay, so... Got butter, egg, flour, salt. I don't know what order to do anything in, so I'm just gonna start from the top. I need a half a cup of brown sugar. Here's a half a cup. Here's the brown sugar. Whenever I cook with brown sugar, I like to eat some of it too because it's it's really good. All right. I'm gonna be using this half cup again in a second. And put the... Need it for white sugar, which I don't actually have. I have cane sugar, so I'm using cane sugar. There's the sugar. And I need half a cup of peanut butter to make peanut butter cookies, go figure. Is there even going to be a half a cup of peanut butter in here? You guys won't hear this because I'm not going to put it in the video. But this is very difficult to get a cup of peanut butter out of a peanut butter jar. That's good enough. A whole half a cup. Now, I need to pretty much do that again to actually get it into the bowl. I did not think that through. Do I want to put this in now? I'm never going to be able to get all of the peanut butter out of here. I have to probably just scoop some more in to make up for it. I don't want non-peanut buttery peanut butter cookies. That would be uh, blasphemous, actually, to the name of peanut butter cookies as a whole. That's probably enough. Uh, I need Crisco, which I'm substituting butter for because I also don't have Crisco. I'm sure this is a half a cup, one stick. Okay, I'm gonna melt this. In retrospect, I probably should have put the butter in first so I could melt it and then put the other stuff in, but too bad. Bowl butter. All right, that's melting up. I'm going to just put this in this one. Thirty seconds is too long, by the way. Pro tip. Put that in there. Okay, that's that. So now I need the egg, flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda. Add vanilla. How much vanilla? Okay. Uh, 
egg. No eggshells. I didn't close the microwave. Okay, flour. Actually, I feel like maybe I should stir this first. A big spoon. This looks pretty good. I bet it'll look even better once I put everything else in. Okay, so that's the egg. Now I need the quarter teaspoon of salt. I'll be right back to get the teaspoon because I don't know where that is. All right, uh, one teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of salt. So this is a whole teaspoon. Here's a quarter teaspoon. I feel like I could have just as easily just put like a pinch in, but whatever. Okay, half a teaspoon baking powder, so I'll just use two of these. I don't know why baking soda is called baking soda. I mean, I'm sure there's definitely a reason that uh, I don't know. And I'm sure it's a very, very good reason, but I don't know why it's called that. It, it, it's not soda. It doesn't taste like soda. I, I know. Um, I need two cups of flour. Sorry, no, I need one cup of flour. But yes, yeah, so anyway, I don't know why baking soda is called baking soda. Which is one cup of flour. And we mix it, and it's gonna be painful because it's gonna get all hard to stir. But hey, this is looking pretty good so far. This is what it looks like. Look better when I actually stir it and get all the flour in there. It's already getting more difficult to stir because I got the flour in there. Oh, I think my video with my cat in it got a lot of views. Here's my cat. She's here. She's she's still very fat. Um All right, I think this is stirred enough. How does this taste? Okay, that does taste like peanut butter cookies. Now I need to put all this away, put it all into a pan, and then cook them. All right, we're cleaned up. I now have a space to put a pan. down here so you can see. Okay, now here's the fun part where I get all dirty. I just have to get the, the batter, put it on here. How am I supposed to get this into like a cookie-esque shape? I can do it with my hands, I think.
the bowl is pretty much empty now. So, you just actually, I'm going to take a little scoop of it. Okay. Okay. Next up, I'm going to put chocolate chips on them because chocolate chips go pretty well with peanut butter. Chocolate and peanut butter just go together well since the dawn of time. And that's a fact. All right, I got chocolate chips. Actually, it says they're baking chips. I don't know if that's the same as chocolate chips. I'm gonna taste one to make sure it's not like some weird cooking chocolate. Oh, they are chocolate chips. I'm just gonna put a few of these in each one. Like maybe three. Let you guys see. Bring it real close. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me put peanut butter, put chocolate chips on peanut butter cookies for like a minute and a half straight. Don't worry. What sort of videos should I make? I mean, I kind of just record funny stuff and upload it, or stuff that I think is funny at least. I might have a terrible sense of humor, but I, I'm gonna try and do this stuff properly. Okay, uh, bake in 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Um, okay. That's going to preheat. I forgot to preheat the oven before. So I, I will be back when it is done preheating. Oven is preheated. That took a while. I have these really nice oven mitts that have chickens on them. they go for 15 minutes I don't know how to do the timer I'll figure that out they are done um, I'm going to take them out of the thing I've got this little cork thing so that I don't destroy the countertop when I do this so here they are these look really good check this out Peanut butter cookies, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the peanut butter cookies.